हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग ऑनलाइन क्लासेस म्योक दिस इज श्रावणी श्री रामोजू टू फाइंड पिस्टन साइड थ्रस्ट कंसिडर दिस फिगर सो फ्रॉम ट्रायंगल ओ ए सी एंड पी ए सी वी हैव सी ए सो फ्रॉम ट्रायंगल ओ ए सी सी ए कैन बी रिटर्न एज R into sin theta, and from the triangle PCA we can write CA as small l. This is the length is l, l into sin phi. So we have CA as l sin phi equal to R sin theta. So from which we can write sin phi as sin theta by n. N is nothing but the oblique equity ratio l by R. And as we know that sin square phi plus cos square phi is equal to 1 and we know sin phi in terms of sin theta and n we can find cos phi as 1 by n root over n square minus sin square theta now consider the triangle pac we have fq fq Along the connecting rod, let this be point P, point at the piston. The C is the end of the crank, and we have dropped down a perpendicular from this onto the line of stroke. We named it A. As can be seen here, P, C, and A. This triangle. So F Q is along the connecting rod, F P is along the line of stroke, and F N is a side thrust. so we are just drawing the force polygon this is fq this is fp and here is fn these two are perpendicular so from uh, this triangle this figure we know that tan phi is nothing but fn by fp and fn can be written as fp tan phi or fp sin phi by cos phi do we know sin phi in terms of theta sin theta by n and we also know cos phi in terms of sin theta so substituting sin phi and cos phi in this we will have fn as fp sin theta Whole divided by root over n square minus sine square theta. So this is F n. So with the help of this expression, we can find the piston side thrust.